Hey, that looks like we're live. Good morning, everybody. Chilly morning this morning, but we're going to see if we can't get a show in here and do it without losing our live stream. You guys stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Joe, I love it that you started saying good morning, America. That is fantastic. I should start saying that, too. Good morning, America. Hey, uh, good morning to you, Joe. Also, good morning to Gail and Amanda, everybody who's tuning in this morning. Go ahead and do what these folks have done when you get here. Jessica, good morning to you. Go ahead and drop a comment in there. Let me know that you are here. Wow, it must be really cold outside and everybody's inside watching. Good morning, Catherine. Uh, if you happen to not be watching on Facebook, you're watching, listening somewhere else, head on over to seven minutes in the morning.com and join us. So, um, just a quick word about my internet service, cause I know you're all interested. That's why I have all these pauses in the live stream. It's been an ongoing battle with my provider today. I gave up on my provider. I'm running the show off of my phone today. Because uh, if you go check my Twitter feed, you'll find out why. <laughs> I've, uh, I've started a, I've started documenting my, my uh, experience through Twitter. All right. So this morning, I want to talk. Uh, I, I, I had this whole idea planned out, and then the quote of the day came up, and I just couldn't pass this one up. This is one of my favorites from Wayne Gretzky. And he says, so the, the title for this morning's show is How Do You Avoid Failure? All right? I'm going to give you an answer that you probably wouldn't expect. Here's the quote. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So how do you avoid failure? Take a shot. Now, in Wayne's case, he's talking about hockey. But what is it in your case? Tell me, leave me, you know, leave that down in the comments. What is it that you do? What is it that you're pursuing that you are reticent to, to take the next shot? Right? There's something holding you back. There's something that, that up here in our head, in your head is saying, nah, you don't, you don't, you're not ready to do that. You don't have all the information you need. You don't have uh, all of the X, Y, or Z that you need. There's always something more that you, that you can get, right? But here's, here's, I'm getting right, man, like straight to the point. It is cold this morning. Even in here, it's cold. Here's the point, right? If you don't take the shot, if you don't try, you're guaranteed to fail. Guaranteed. Had a conversation last night with a good friend, and we were talking about. Um, he he was asking for my input. He's having some challenges with his business partner slash roommate slash friend, and one of the things that I and, and he has been really reluctant to have this conversation, and so one of the things that I told him, oh yeah, I still love that one. Proceed imperfectly. One of the things that I told him was maintain the outcome, you know, in your conversation. What is the outcome? In his case, he wanted to preserve the relationship, but he wasn't sure how to have the conversation and preserve the relationship. So he was just not having the conversation and things were continuing to fester and get worse. Right? So by not doing something, he was losing a little bit more every day, right? So he was he was missing 100% of the shots because he wasn't taking them. He even pointed out that there have been opportunities to have this conversation. He just kind of passed up on them because he didn't know what to say, all right? So there are opportunities. We've been talking about opportunity all week. There are opportunities that present themselves all the time. Every day, we are constantly bombarded with opportunities, 
right? Remember, opportunity is just a set of circumstances. Those set, those circumstances are unique to you. They don't present themselves to anyone else because it's a unique combination of you, your life experience, where you are, what's happening. I mean, all these things come together to create a one of a kind, never before, never again set of circumstances that we call an opportunity. And if you look at that opportunity and say, yeah, man, I'd really like to do that, but I don't know. I I think I'll do something else. It might, it might show up again, but probably not. I have something going on in my business right now that I'm, I'm not quite ready to share with everybody, but it'll be exciting when I do. It came from out of the blue. I had absolutely no plans of doing this. I had no expectation of doing this. Wasn't on my 2019 calendar at all. I mean, nothing. And over the course of now, it's been about a week, maybe 10 days. Um, you know, we're probably 50% of the way to having, having a project worked out. And, and it's all because, you know, I'm, I'm open to the conversation. I frequently tell people, you know, it never hurts to have a conversation, right? If, in fact, this opportunity that presented itself to me, guy sent me a message and said, hey, would you be open to talking about doing so and so and so? And so? I'm like, yeah, sure. Conversation never hurts. Sit down and talk to him, find out exactly what they're looking for, you know, I had a set of questions for them. They had a set of questions for me. We're working on those, but you know, this, it may turn into something. It may not. Right. But if I had just blown off that message or, you know, I got it last week while we were on Thanksgiving break. I said, eh, I'll do that next week when I get back and then got back and got busy and forgot about it. There's a lost opportunity. So you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take. Don't take the shot. Don't don't stop yourself from taking advantage of an opportunity because you think you need more. Step into the opportunity and find out what you need. Don't. I, this is, was one of my mantras for my teams. Right? Is one of my mantras for my teams. Think. I uh, don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't think, comma no. Right? Don't think this is what's going on know what's going on, right? So step into it. Find out what you need. Don't stand on the outside looking in thinking, yeah, well, it's probably this and it's probably that and it's probably the other. No, step into it and find out what's going on. Brooke pointed out, proceed imperfectly. Yeah, that's one of my favorites because, right, it's a it's a simple reminder about what we're talking about here right now, right? Just you, you got to take that step into it. Proceed imperfectly. The only way to fail, says Catherine, is to not try. Everything else is a learning experience if, if you apply the lessons you learned. Some people don't do that. They'll go out there and swing at the ball every time, miss every one of them, or let's stick with our metaphor. They'll go out there and, and take a shot with a puck, miss the net every time, and never analyze why they're missing it. And so they keep doing the same thing wrong every time and keep missing every time. So yes, it is a, it can be a learning experience, but again, that's on me. It takes me making it a learning experience. Yeah, Crucial Conversations, uh, Amanda, fantastic book. Uh, and I'll, I will, I'll send him a message today. All right. Uh, that, that book's been around for a while too. Um, I'll remind him of that today. That is a good one. All right, that's it for today. Uh, listen, if there's something that you're stuck on, you'd like to talk through something like that with me, by all means, send me a message. Send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com. Comes to my inbo- inbox. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, we'll find out how to set up a time uh, and have those conversations. It is Wednesday. That means it's coffee shop show today. And for the first time in a long time. Eric and I are both going to be in the coffee shop this morning. So be sure and tune in for that. You can watch that right here 
uh, it, it replicates out here. Also, we'll be at uh, Old Town Coffee in beautiful downtown Five Points, Alabama. I have no idea what kind of coffee they've got brewed this morning, but I'm going to have my croissant. So, all right, that's it. Thank you much. Thank you so much for being here. If you've gotten value from this, I would appreciate if you do two things. Number one, click that like button or the harder thumbs up, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching. And number two, share this with your network. Somebody in your network needs to hear this message today and you can be the conduit through which they hear that. All right. That's it. You guys have a fantastic Wednesday, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.